guys! Welcome to another new tutorial! Today I'm gonna be showing you how to crochet this beret. It is so gorgeous. As you can see, these stitches look nicely separated. So when you use a different color, it's gonna look more obvious. This yarn I used is acrylic, but it's super soft, super nice. If you're making this beret for summer, then you might want to use materials like cotton, so it's more breathable. But even if you use acrylic, it's still gonna be okay because this pattern creates spaces, so it's not gonna be overly warm. This is the yarn I'm gonna be using for the main part of the beret. I will also be needing some white, blue, and purple. This yarn calls for a 4mm crochet hook, and that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm going to begin from the center of the beret and my first round is going to be in white color. So I'm going to make a magic loop. Insert my hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through. We're going to chain two at the beginning of every round. In this loop, I'm going to make double crochet two togethers. So to make one double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook in this loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, so this one is an incomplete double crochet. I'm going to leave this double crochet incomplete yarn over again, insert my hook in the loop, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops again. That's another incomplete double crochet. So with two incomplete double crochets, I'm going to yarn over and pull through three. And that is a double crochet two together. So whenever I finish a double crochet two together, I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to yarn over in this loop, make one more double crochet two together. So I'm going to make an incomplete double crochet like this. And then I'm going to yarn over, directly insert hook in the loop, Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. With two incomplete double crochets and three loops on the hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all. That's the second double crochet two together. Then I'm going to chain one. Remember to chain one every time we finish this. And then I'm going to go ahead and make five more double crochet two together in this loop. That's number three, chain one. Four, chain one. Five, chain one, two more. Six, chain one, last one. Seven, and don't forget to chain one again. Then I'm going to pull this short end tight to close this loop. Now, this first chain 2, the chain 2 we did at the beginning of this round, does not count as a stitch. So I'm going to just insert my hook in the first double crochet 2 together in the top 2 loops and make a slip stitch. And then, you see the next stitch is actually a chain one. 
I'm going to insert my hook in this chain one and make one more slip stitch so that we're on top of this chain one right now. And then round two, I'm going to use the army green color. So this is where we change color. I'm going to grab the green color and just yarn over and pull through. And then I'm going to begin round two. I'm going to chain two. And at this chain one we're currently at right now, I'm going to make a double crochet two together. And when you insert your hook, you want to make sure these tails are above your hook. So you can wrap them around in your work, especially this green tail. If you wrap it around your work now, then you won't have to weave it in later. So we finished one double crochet two together. Like I said before, you're going to chain one after every double crochet two together. And then in the same chain, I'm going to work one more double crochet two together. And then I'm going to chain one, skip the next double crochet two together, work a double crochet two together directly in the next chain one. And then chain one again. Work a second double crochet two together in the same chain one. Then chain one. Two double crochet two together in the next chain one. First one, chain one, then work a second one. Chain one. Then I'm gonna cut this white yarn since I'm done with it. And then I'm going to keep doing this. In every chain one, work two double crochet, two togethers, and chain one after every double crochet two together. Don't forget to chain one at the end. And then I'm going to join to the first double crochet two together. Skip this chain two. Just join with a slip stitch. Then again, I want to move to the next chain one before I start the next round. So I'm going to insert my hook in this chain one and make a slip stitch. We're going to do two rounds of green in total. So the next round is still green. Chain two. In the first space, chain one space, I'm going to make one double crochet two together. Chain one. Then in the next chain one space, make two double crochet two together. So that's the first one, chain one. Then make a second one in the same stitch. Don't forget to chain one. 
In the next space, make one double crochet two together. Chain one. Next space, make two. Chain one in between. Chain one. So we're just alternating between one double crochet, two together in the first space, then two double crochet, two together in the next space, one in the next space two in the next and then every time you finish a double crochet two together you're going to chain one always so i'm going to go ahead and finish this round now this is my last uh, chain one space in this one i should make two double crochet two togethers Don't forget to chain one. Join to the first double crochet two together with a slip stitch. Then I'm going to move to the next chain one space by working a slip stitch in it. Round four, I'm going to use blue. I'm just gonna pull it through. And then round four, chain two. Again, when I work my stitches, I'm going to wrap this tail in my work. In the chain one we're at right now, work one double crochet two together. Then chain one. Next space, one double crochet two together. Chain one. Then in the third space, I'm going to make two double crochet two together. Chain one in between, one more in the same stitch, chain one. And then I'm going to repeat this again over the next three spaces. In the next space, make one, double crochet two together. Next space one, I'm going to stop repeating chain one after every double crochet two together because you're going to do that every time. And in the third space, make two double crochet two togethers. So for this round, you're just going to keep doing this one, one, two, and then one, one, two again. Continue follow that pattern and finish this round. Again, in my last chain one space, I'm supposed to do two double crochet two together. Did I chain one for that? Yeah, I did. chain one then join to the first stitch 
the first double crochet two together slip stitch again in the next chain one I'm going to cut the blue yarn then change back to green make sure you don't pull this yarn too tight I'm going to chain two again now you probably see the pattern it is the same pattern when you do double crochet rounds so in the second round you increase in every stitch every space so that's two two and two again um, the next round would be one two two meaning an increase one two one two and this blue round is one one two so the next round is one 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 two so that means in the first space i'm going to make one double crochet two together in the second space one double crochet two together in the third space still one double crochet two together chain one and then in the fourth space make two chain one so that's one 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 two and then i'm going to repeat that pattern again so follow this pattern do one 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 two and then finish this round don't forget to chain one at the uh, at the end of the round slip stitch in the first stitch in the first double crochet two together then slip stitch in the next space and the next round is also in green so you don't have to change color just chain two and begin your next round and the pattern for your next round would be one 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 two and then you're going to repeat that one 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 two and finish that round so after i finish those two rounds We are going to change color again. So chain two. Last round we did one, 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 two. So the next round we will do five double crochet two together, then an increase. So starting from the chain one we're at right now. That's the first. And then after five double crochet two together in the next space we're going to do two double crochet two together chain one in between and that's the second one and then you're going to chain one again repeat this pattern if you haven't noticed in every round this increased stitch is worked right after the increased stitch in the last round 
I'll show you what I mean. Next, I'm going to do one double crochet, two together in the next five spaces. So that's one, two, three, four. And you'll notice the fifth one is worked in this increased stitch of the last round. So in this one, I'm working the fifth double crochet two together. And the very next space, the space after it, is where we work the increase, which is two double crochet two together. And this rule applies to every round. Increase here, and the next round, increase here. So you don't have to keep counting how many stitches you've done before you do an increase. Follow the pattern and finish this round. This is round seven. We did five um, double crochet two togethers, then an increase. From the next round, I'm going to change back to green and then continue working in green. And the pattern for the next round would be one double crochet, two together in the next six spaces. Then in the very next space, work two double crochet, two together. I did 10 rounds in total. It measures around 26 centimeters. So this is gonna be the widest part of the beret. Next, I'm going to do two rounds of plain double crochet two together. I've already slip stitched to the next space. I'm going to chain two. In the space, work a double crochet two together, chain one. Next space, double crochet two together, chain one. So I'm going to work one double crochet two together in every space. There is no increase for this round. And also remember to chain one after every double crochet two together. Do two rounds in total like this. So two rounds of plain double crochet two together. And then from the next round, we're going to begin the decrease. So remember I did 10 rounds of increase and the pattern for my last increase round is eight double crochet two together, then an increase. So the pattern for my first decrease round would be one double crochet two together in the first eight spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And then I'm going to do a decrease over the next two stitches. If you have a different number of increase rounds, say the pattern for your last increase round is seven double crochet two together, then an increase. The pattern for your first decrease round is gonna be one double crochet two together in the first seven spaces, then a decrease. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna do eight double crochet two together first. Okay, so I did eight double crochet two together and then chain one. Next, I'm going to work a decrease. I'm going to work a double crochet two together here and here, but I'm gonna work them as one stitch. Yarn over. In the next space, work a double crochet two together. But don't do the last yarn over and pull through. When you have three loops on hook, yarn over. In the next space, work one more double crochet two together. It's one, yarn over. Yarn over, pull through two. That's the second one. So we have four incomplete double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five loops on hook, yarn over and pull through all. 
So that's a decrease stitch. And then I'm going to chain one and follow my pattern. Do eight double crochet, two togethers, one in each space. And I'm still going to chain one after every one of them. Like I said, if you have a different pattern, you're going to follow your pattern. If you need to do seven double crochet, two togethers before the decrease, keep doing that. Now I'm close to the end of the round. Whatever your pattern is, your last decrease should be worked over the last two spaces. And then I'm going to chain one, join to the first stitch. Slip stitch again. From the second decrease round, it's going to be super easy because from this round, you don't need to count your stitches. You just have to work one double crochet, two together in each space. And when you see this one right here, this chunky one here, you're going to work a decrease over these two spaces. So I'm going to work one double crochet, two together in each space till here. And don't forget to chain one in between. So the decrease will be worked in these two spaces. So two incomplete double crochets here and two here. Yarn over and pull through. So when I finish this round, I'm going to start a new round. I don't necessarily have to keep counting my stitches as I've explained. I just need to be able to find that decrease stitch in the last round. How many decrease rounds you should do really depends on you, but generally you want to try it on before the opening gets too small for your head. I made mine a bit smaller because I feel this edge is pretty stretchy and I know it's going to get looser with time. So as you can see, my last decrease round is four double crochet two togethers before a decrease. So after I stop decreasing, I'm going to do two more rounds without any decrease, one round in white and one in green. This color change is to create a finished look for the broom. So I finished that round in white and then I did one more round in green. I'm going to join to the first stitch and then fasten off. For this beret, I do want to make a stock for it. I'm going to make a slip knot. Chain 11. And then in the back loop of the second chain, insert my hook and make a single crochet. And then work one single crochet in the back loop of each chain across. And then fasten off, leave a long tail, then you're going to fold it in half 
and sew it on the beret. All you have to do left is sew in the ends. I'm gonna have to cut these. And then the beret is done.